Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is my favorite productivity apps for Surface. Another great productivity app that you can get from the Microsoft Store is Office Lens. Now Office Lens is great on the surface. It's an app that allows you to take photographs of things like whiteboards, paper documents, business cards, receipts. It's an essential app I find on my phone and you can get this app on iOS and Android, but it's also good to have it there on the surface. So if you're perhaps in a meeting and you've written a bunch of stuff on the whiteboard, just grab out Office Lens and take a photo of it. And what it will do is it will square up the photo and give you a nice uh, square representation of that whiteboard, no matter what angle you've taken the photo from. It then allows you to upload that document or whiteboard up to your OneDrive account or even into OneNote. My next productivity app is Drawboard PDF. Having a device like the Surface with a pen opens up all sorts of opportunities to go paperless. And Drawboard is one of those applications that will enable you to do that. If you need to take notes or sign a PDF, Drawboard is going to be your friend. It's around about $10 US or about $15 Australian in the Microsoft Store. And I would rate Drawboard PDF as one of my most important productivity apps. And the last app that I have for you, I think is the most important, and that is the OneNote app. Now in the past, I've always used the desktop version of OneNote but now I'm starting to use more frequently the OneNote app version, the one that's available from the Microsoft Store. Over the last year and a half, the OneNote team have been building new features and experiences into the OneNote app to try and catch it up with many of the features that were in the desktop app. And they're nearly there. In fact, there's quite a lot of things that are in the OneNote app that are not in the desktop version now. For example, the camera is actually built right into the OneNote app, allowing you to take photos directly into your OneNote pages. We can sort of do that in the desktop version, but it involves a couple of steps, whereas in the app version, we can take those photos directly into the app. And in fact, the OneNote app has elements of the Office Lens app built into it. So for example, if I wanted to take a photo of a whiteboard or a slide from a PowerPoint presentation, I could do that in the OneNote app directly from the app, take the photo, square it up, and have it inserted right into my page, ready for me to annotate around. Another example might be if you wanted to take a photo of a document, a printed document. Again, OneNote would allow you to square that document up as though you've scanned the document. It would come into your page and then OneNote would recognize the text from that page. So that's just six of my favorite productivity apps on your Surface. I'm sure you've got many more to tell me about, and I'd really love to hear about that in the comments below. So if you found this tip helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Surface Pro tips.